on so much longer. These are gonna go up inside and get lost. It sticks out ridiculously far. Hi, this is Chandra, and today I want to talk to you about the ink for LiveScribe Smart Pens, because I really didn't realize this until recently when I was reviewing and using all three of these pens, that the inks are in different sizes. Can you see that there? So, much shorter. This one ink is much shorter than the other. And so I went to the internet and I went to their support pages and here's what I found. That the Bluetooth models of the pen, the, the Ajir, the Symphony, the three, for sure, use the taller, longer ink. The Echo, the older model, uses the short ink. Now, if you put the long ink in the Echo, it sticks out ridiculously far. You see that? It just sticks out too far. Yeah. This, this is how this pen should look, okay? It's not the end of the world if you put the long ink in the Echo pen, but if you put the short ink in one of these Bluetooth models, because this other one is so much longer, these are gonna go up inside and get lost, right? This is gonna keep on going, and then unless it shakes out, I don't know how you're gonna get it out, so I'm not about to try it. The Bluetooth ink, the longer ink, obviously it's available from livescribe.com and all the other places that you can buy it online, but one of the questions people asked is, can I buy alternative ink that isn't from Livescribe? And the answer with the longer, Bluetooth model ink was yes, yes, there were two alternatives. So you can get uh, off-brand ink for this, but for the Echo models, the shorter ink, only Livescribe ink. So let's all cross our fingers and pray this company never goes out of business because apparently that's the only place we're gonna get ink that fits it. If you have any other questions about smart pens and the other Livescribe models and how they work, please check out our other videos. Thank you, like, and subscribe, and I hope this helps.